Today is Thursday, February 18, 2010, the first day of the new six weeks, and it won't be long till spring break. But before that, it'll be the dreaded and feared tax test. On this day in history, 1885, Mark Twain published The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, one of the greatest and most controversial works of literature. In 1965, there was an avalanche in British Columbia. That's in Canada, in case you didn't know. 26 were killed. In 1932, Pluto was discovered. Not that Pluto, this Pluto. Once considered a planet, is now referred to as the dwarf planet. And in 2001, it was a sad day for NASCAR fans as the Intimidator Dale Earnhardt Sr. was killed in a last lap crash in the Daytona 500. This information comes from History.com and you can go there to learn more about history or you can ask a friendly neighborhood history teacher. Good morning Pirates, today is Thursday, February 18, 2010. Seniors, bring a copy of your college acceptance letter to the counselor's office so we can proudly display your name in college on the board in the counselor's hall. Environmental Club is collecting eyeglasses, ink cartridges, and cell phones for recycling. Bring them to room 208. Also, clean out your closets and bring your old coat to share with the homeless. Your donations could save a life. Prom is still set for Friday, April 2nd. Tickets are now on sale in the counselor's office. Seniors $60, juniors $80, out of district $100. Hurry, prices will go up March 1st. Athletic Booster Club scholarship applications are now in the counselor's office. They are due back by April 1st. And softball and baseball t-shirts and hoodies are on sale in Ms. Hildebrand's room. Hoodies are on sale for $20 and t-shirts are available in two different styles. One is $10 and the other is $15. Attention seniors, it's time to round up your photos for the senior slideshow, which will be shown during senior day assembly and just before graduation. So gather up your snapshots and turn them into Miss Stamper in the front office on or before Friday, April 30th. Still interested in cheerleader and mascot tryouts? Go by Miss Mitchell's room 101 and pick up a tryout packet. All forms are due back Wednesday, February 24th. The parent meeting is now set for March 9th at 6.30, following the first tryout practice. This Monday, there will be a student council meeting at 5.30 p.m. As you may have heard, Pirate TV has been on the lookout for CHS students with amazing ability. Blake Wade has our latest report. Hi, Blake Wade here, and I'm at Crandall High School. Crandall High School has been looking for people with amazing abilities lately, and I found one myself. Macy Gilcrease can actually fly. Yes, fly. Apparently, she's been doing it her whole life. I don't remember the first time I flew, but my parents told me I went straight from crawling to flying, so I've been doing it ever since. Macy has actually agreed to fly for us outside right now, so let's go take a look. There you have it, an amazing girl with an amazing ability. I'm Blake Wade, CHS Pirate TV. Wow, I didn't know she could do that. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Lindsay. Have, have a Taco, Taco Casa Thursday. Thursday. Don't forget the Lady Pirates will play their area playoff game versus Sanger tomorrow at 7 o'clock at the Caulfield High School. If you didn't purchase a white basketball playoff shirt and plan to go to the girls' playoff game tomorrow night, please wear a black Crandall shirt. We'd like to have a sea of black and white Crandall shirts here. Attention NAHS members, there will be a meeting Monday right after school. This is Soccer 101. This is Soccer 101. We're talking about our basic needs today. We've got soccer ball, We've got shin guards. And we got our soccer cleats, which we don't have on today. So that'll be all. That's about all you need to start. Yeah, that's a wrap. Get ready, ready Pirates. Soccer's coming to Crandall. Crandall.